Uh, good day everyone. Uh, in, t in this video, we were going to be talking about the AND gate and the OR gate. And we were going to construct it using a diode in its basic form. So, but before all of this stuff, we must understand a, what is a diode. So, so this is a diode, this. This is a diode. So the one with the gray or white part is the cathode and the other side is the anode. So this is this is this is its symbol. So a diode consists of two semiconductor material, which is the N type and the P type. In order for us to understand a diode, so we must learn the concept of biasing. So there are two types of biasing which is the forward bias and the yeah the reverse bias so in forward bias the positive terminal of the voltage source is connected to the p-type semiconductor and the negative terminal is connected to the n-type semiconductor of the diode so to achieve forward bias, the voltage required to overcome the potential barrier for a silicon diode is around 0 0.6 volts or 0 0.7. But this value can vary based on this material and type of diode. So if we input the, the required voltage, which is 0 0.6 to 0 0.7, it reduces the potential barrier at the junction, allowing current to pass to flow easily through the diode so allowing majority charge carriers holes from p and n type to move to toward the dunk to toward the junction so so if we if we input a required voltage the depletion region will will, will be gone and the current will flow flow easily in the in the diode so the reduction in the potential barrier narrows the depletion region. So here, you can, you can see here that if we input the required voltage, the depletion region will be gone. Uh, as the potential barrier decreases, the depletion region becomes thinner and facilitating the flow of majority carriers across the junction. So this is a forward bias, the P-type is connected to the positive and the n type is connected to the negative and if we input a required voltage the depletion region will be gone and the current will flow easily into the diode so the next one is the reverse bias so in the reverse bias the positive terminal of the voltage source is connected to the n type so positive terminal is connected to the n-type, the semiconductor, and the negative terminal is connected to the p-type of semiconductor. So notice that in the forward bias, the positive is in the positive terminal and the n-type is the in the negative terminal. While in the reverse bias, the p-type is in a negative terminal and the n-type is in connected to the positive ter terminal. So what will happen in this is the the external voltage increases the potential barrier across the junction, widening the depletion region. So the widened depletion region creates a strong electrical field that prevents majority carriers from crossing the junction. So, so yeah, the depletion region will will be big in here in the forward in the reverse bias. So. So the interplay of forward bias and reverse bias along with the depletion region is the basis of diode functionality in electronic circuit. So that is the forward bias and reverse bias. So now, now that we know what are the biasing and how, uh, what is the concept and how it works, so we will now move to the AND gate and we will construct it using the diodes. So, what we need is, is in this circuit is two diodes, two diodes, 
uh, one kilo ohm resistor, some some LEDs, some LEDs for indication. So some LEDs for indication, and and yeah, jumper wires. So in the circuit, uh, there is two diodes. So this this is the cathode, the white with the white part and the black part is the anode so we will construct it so we put it in our breadboard we will put it and and notice that the anode of the two diode is connected so we must connect it here so they're connected here they're connected so and we'll put an LED indicator to the to the X and Y so in put this and the to the ground and then this to the way and in the schematic, the anode of the two diode is connected to the 1K kilo ohms resistor, which is this. So we will gonna just put this in a power rail here in the power rail. So here. And we will also put some indicator to the output. So here and then here. So in my the LEDs are I just put a pull down resistor and every LED so that it will not be destroyed. So and yeah again the these two jumper wires will be our X and Y X and Y and I put that I put the two in the positive rail so in this we inputted a one one and one so let's power this thing let's power this thing so so as you can see we inputted a one and a one so in an AND gate if we input a one when both rise to 5 volts the output level then rise to 5 volts and then the output will represent a 1 so because we inputted a 1 and a 1 the output will be 1 but what will happen if both of the diodes will be at 0 if we input 0 so let's just put this in the ground rail and the other one other input to the ground rail so So, as you can see, the output didn't light up. It produces a zero. So, both of the diodes will be forward bias. And so, if we input both zero at the input, the both of the diodes will be forward bias and the output will be zero. So, the total voltage drop across the resistor will be 5 volts. So, that is the reason why it doesn't light up. So, but what if I put the X into 1 so put the X into 1 so as you can see the output is still 0 so it will still be forward bias and the output will be will remain 0 but what if I do what if I put the Y into 1 so as you can see nothing will happen so in an AND gate it, it will become one only if both of the inputs is one so that is an AND gate so the truth table if we input it a zero zero to the both it will output a zero if we input a zero one 
it will still output a zero. If we input a a one and zero, one and zero, it will be still zero. And if we input one and one, then it will become one. So that is an AND gate. It only give a one output when both of the inputs rise to the five volts or both of the input is one. So yeah. So and and the symbol of the gate is this. So as you can see in this diagram, uh, if if both if both inputs are in the five volts, it will only light up. But if only one of the inputs is one, it will not go to the five volts. So that is an AND gate. So now let's move on to the OR gate. In the OR gate, we will just gonna flip the diode and put the one kilo ohm resistor to the ground so yeah as you can see this is just flip and also this so this is connected to the negative 5 volts which is ground basically and this is the 5 volts so we are just gonna flip the diode and put the 1k resistor to the ground so we put the 1k resistor to the ground and we flip the two diodes flip the two diodes uh, my hands are so big so and yes so now that, it, now that it's flipped we will just gonna power this so as you can see uh, both inputs are one so if both inputs are one the output will be a one if one of the input is at ground and one of the inputs is uh, a one so the diode will be forward bias and the output will be also five or one and if the other one is is a one and the other one is zero so the the output will still be a one but if two inputs or both of the diodes will be will be at the ground or zero the output will be zero so in a two table if the output is of the two is zero the output will be zero and if the input of the other one is a one the output will be one and if the output of the other one will be a one the output will be a one and if two inputs are one then the output will be one so that is the OR gate and this is the sign of the OR gate sorry for drawing this with no effort so but yeah this is the sign so now that we know the the three gates the NOT the OR in the end we will now proceed to building or designing the decoder design in our project so these gates are essential in doing any digital electronics so it is essential in understanding all the concept so that you will not get lost doing electronics digital computer electronics so see you in the next video we'll design a the decoder